I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question to find limits when a piecewise function is given to us. As usual, I will make very rough sketches which will be good enough, just good enough to understand the concept and I hope that helps. The question here is, we are given a function f of x equals to x when x is less than minus 1. It is minus x squared when x is between minus 1 and 2, minus 1 is included and is equal to 3 when x is greater than or equal to 2. So there are three different pieces in this function and these pieces are continuous in their own intervals but we are not very sure whether they form a continuous function or not. So what we will do here is try to sketch them first and then uh, work out. So I'm just making a rough sketch here. Now this is how normally we do in a test paper also. You're not always given a graph paper. So get used to this method. Let's start with the very first piece. Okay, so this is, you could use table of values to sketch them, right? Use table of values. So when x is minus one, minus one is not included, less than minus one. So at minus 1, it is not included. It is going to be minus 1. So I'm putting a big hole here, right? At minus 2, it is going to be minus 2. So, you know, this is a straight line which goes diagonally, cutting across quadrant 3. Perfect. So that is where it is. And that circle, which is not filled, indicates that at minus 1, this function is less than minus 1. It's not equal to, right? So it is out of its interval. Interval of this function is from minus infinity to minus 1. Now let's look into the second piece, which is a quadratic function x squared reflected on y-axis. Now minus 1 is included here. So if I write minus 1, minus 1 squared is plus 1, minus of that is negative. So this fills up this space, right? It fills up this one. So it is continuous at minus 1. Do you appreciate it? At 0, it is going to be 0. At 1, minus 1. At, uh, at 2, 4, minus 4, right? So at 2, it is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, kind of here. So let me just make a parabola. Connect these points like this, right? So at 2, it is minus 4. Again, this point is not included. So I'm making a circle which is absolutely clear I hope right so let me write down some values here so it is minus 4 here for 2 so that is 0 and this is minus 1 and this is also minus 1 is it okay now so we have a parabola so let me smoothen up this parabola okay it's kind of a, kind of like this where this hole is filled and this is open circle when x is greater than or equal to 2, when x is greater than or equal to 2, in that case, the value of the function is 3. That means it is a constant, right? Constant 3. So 1, 2, 3, equal to means filled up, and that is how it is. Do you see that? So that is how you could uh, sketch the function. This is your piecewise function. Is it okay? Now that's all. Once you get this idea of sketching, now it is simple to answer these questions. So what I'm sharing with you here is, whenever you work with piecewise function, if it is not very difficult, you can quickly sketch it and then answer immediately, looking at the graph. Otherwise, you have to look into the equation all the time. Now let's look into it. Limit of this function when x approaches minus one from positive side. Now minus one function is continuous. So from both the sides, they actually approach the same value. Do you see that? From positive side, like you're moving from here, you approach minus one. So this answer is minus one. Next is limit of f of x when x approaches minus one. What we see here is that if you approach from this side or from that side, you are approaching minus one. So this answer is also minus one. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Now, the third one here is limit of this function when x approaches 2, that positive on the top means 2 from the right side. So you're approaching 2 from the right side. So if you're coming from the right side, you'll hit this portion, right? 
So, so you approach which point? You approach the value 3. Do you see that? So you're approaching 3. So this answer is 2 from the right side. That means here. If it had been 2 from the negative, you would have been on the parabola, right? 2 from the right side means this. This is 2 plus. Do you see that? The value is 3. So this answer is 3 for you. Now we have x approaches 2 from left side. So left side means it is less than 2. So this portion is for left side, less than 2. So we have to look into x square value. Where does it approach, right? So if you substitute here 2, you get 2 squares 4 minus 4. From the graph, you can see that you are approaching minus 4 when you approach from the left side. So this answer is minus 4. Is that okay? So since you are approaching different points at 2, limit does not really exist at 2. We have not asked that question to you, but you can, that may be a question for you. Fine. Find limit when x approaches, approaches 2 for f of x, right? Write down this answer. Okay. The last question here is interesting. It says, find a where limit of function f of x as x approaches a is minus 3. Now, which is that point on this graph where the limit is minus 3? So it is 1, 2, 3. At minus 3, if you approach from either side, you know, you approach minus 3. So the answer here is a equals to minus 3. So it is in this part of the graph. I'm sorry, this part of the graph, when x is going towards minus 3, from left or positive side, you approach minus 3. So the answer here is a equals to minus 3. With that, I hope it is very clear how to find limit of the functions when we are given piecewise functions. Some of you must have got this answer by now. We say limit at 2 does not exist. The reason is that limit of f of x when x approaches 2 from the negative side is not equal to limit when x approaches 2 from the positive side for the function, right? You have seen that both these limits are indeed different and that means that limit at 2 does not exist. I hope with this all the concepts are kind of clear a bit, right? I am Anil Kumar. If you like it, you can put a like. You can always share, subscribe my videos and feel free to post questions. That's the beauty of my videos. Thank you and all the best.